hills you can fairly see back over the, to the right, just over that little knoll. So as far as you could see west, you would have probably seen 4,000, at least 4,000 wagons on the trail. That would have been about the first tune. You know, for years they thought 250,000 people tra traveled the trail. Then they found enough Im information, they raised it to 500,000. Then out comes the diaries, more of them. Back in the closets, back in the old trunks. And they finally decided it had to be at least 750. Now, Merrill Mattis, who wrote the book, The Great Platte River Road, and if you ever get a chance, read that. It's a great book. He gives you the story of the entire length of the trail, and more specifically from Kearney, Nebraska, to Fort Laramie. It's worth your time to read it. I could give you a list of books, but you've got 40 minutes, and I can talk longer than that. Well, we got less than 40 minutes, but... <laughs> less than 40 minutes? There, what time do we got to be back, Lonnie? Lonnie's I don't director. know, Tom? we got to be back uh, about 6.20 at the very latest. Okay, so we got 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yep. <laughs> Everything okay. we need to know. <laughs> I know what the other one I hated was, geography. <laughs> 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 okay, uh... These lakes right over here, and you've all read about the alkali lakes and the animals drinking it and dying. Now the animals that grow up on it can, can handle it. But those that drank acid water back east hit those lakes and died. We don't know for sure how many people died on the trail. But we think there has to be at least 15 graves for every single mile the entire length how long was the Oregon Trail? Raise your hand if you know. How many miles? Nobody knows? You been teaching these history of the trails? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what year did the trails start? 1841. We'll all be doggone. It started in 1841, well, 1840. Special. <laughs> I don't know why you haven't been teaching this. He just got here, Gordon. <laughs> I just met these people yesterday. You just met them yesterday? Yes. They come from all over the state. The state of what? Nebraska. <laughs> just to hear you. No. <laughs> well, I should tell you a story, but we haven't got time. <laughs> but, uh... <clears throat> I could go on, I did uh, up to seven days wagon trade trips and I taught history from the moment those people got off the plane or out of their cars or walked in or however they got here until the moment they left. And I mean, I gave them history as it was. I promised, it, uh, promised them I would stress them physically and emotionally and I did. And some of them got so mad at me they'd like to kill me. But when it was all over, they said that was true experience, even done a hanging on the tree. You'd have probably been the first to go. <laughs> <laughs> so how long was the Oregon Trail? Mm. 1,959 miles. Okay. Generally speaking, they say around 2,000 miles, depending on how crooked they drove. <laughs> and out on these prairies, they drove crooked because they were covered with prairie dog mounds. The oxen soon learned you don't run over those things because that front wheel hits that and whoop that tongue going to hit some oxen and they soon learned to dodge those trails and as I was telling him on the way out there's some places that trails in Wyoming was 20 miles wide now if you've ever been to Wyoming those cattle would figure there was a tall dog in the butcher shop if they had that much grass mm -hmm and they had to spread out to find grass for their animals. There has to be at least 15 graves for every mile of the Oregon Trail, and no, it wasn't the Indians that killed them. Accidents and disease. We think maybe 44 people on the entire length of the Oregon Trail was killed by Indians. Now, they've come to the conclusion now that probably more than a million people traveled the trail. So it was the biggest human migration 
in all history. Now, some of you religious ones say, well, what about Moses? I've never heard that as being a migration. He just wandered around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 41. It lasted till after the train went through, and when did it finish at Promontory, Utah? When was the date on that? 1869. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you ever go there? I've not been there. I have. And those, those people <laughs> on the railroads are no different than they are today. The ones that was going east, when they met, they're supposed to stop, but they was getting government money. And you can go out there yet and see where they passed each other just a little ways apart. <laughs> they got more miles, got paid for more miles. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, uh, questions if you have any. And then I'm going to turn it over to Professor and uh, let can, him Can you tell him what you were telling me yesterday about you're going to give your land mm -hmm. to the, the Nature Trust or someone to turn it back into grass? I didn't tell you that. <laughs> I said the State Historical Society would own this someday. Okay. They want it. Okay. But if you think I'm going to work my rear to a bone and give it to the State Historical Society, you're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> They're raising money right now for it. I do have a contract on it. I bought it specifically to preserve this. There is the number one attraction on the Trails West. By far and away, and you, when you read the uh, Great Platte River Road, you will understand that. But here in western Nebraska, we have five of the most noted landmarks. Courthouse in Gale Rock, Chimney Rock, Ash Hollow, Scottsbluff National Monument. Oh, I forgot the fifth one. What's the fifth one? Oof. Come on, you that won the prize. <laughs> Jailhouse, Courthouse Rock, Chimney Rock, Scottsbluff National Monument. And Ash Hollow. And Ash now that Ash. makes fun. Oh, the Horse Hall. Creek Treaty Grounds. Oh, yeah. Oh. Horse, Horse Creek, Creek Treaty Grounds. Yeah. And uh, it's just barely in Nebraska. Well, I don't want any of you to feel bad. <laughs> I'll tell you one more thing. I was selected by the Historical Society for doing the work for years with the history of the Trails West to be on the state 25 cent design committee. Mm -hmm. The only one out of western Nebraska. <laughs> the rest of them are yeah. all from down there, Omaha and Lincoln. <laughs> but I talked faster than they did. <laughs> <laughs> and I had more reasons. Who would like to pass out the Nebraska quarter? <laughs> 